Hey, hello everyone, welcome back. So in our today's tutorial, I will show you how to display Google Maps in Android Kotlin, right? So this is our simple empty Kotlin project in which we are going to display our Google Map. And if uh, you can see here, this is my main activity where we'll uh, configure our Google Map. And if I go to this source under layout under main activity underscore main folder, uh, here I am going to create and Google Maps we have, uh, to display on our screen, right? So let's start doing that. Before that, I'll create a car view here. If you see here, I created a car view with corner radius as 4dp with elevation and with some margin, right? And this is my car view. Inside this car view, I need to create a map view. Uh, the map view will contain my Google map, which will be displayed on my screen, right? So to do so, first we need to impl uh, include some libraries into a Gradle file. So this is my Gradle uh, file, right? Uh, and these are some by default uh, libraries or dependencies which uh, our app has, right? When we create an empty project. And now we need to include some Google Maps library into our project. So for that, I had already kept here the library. Uh, so if you see here, I'll just copy and paste and I'll show you which library we are using. So yeah, we should have and two libraries to display the maps on our screen. So first one is the Google Play Services Maps. This library is mandated to display the Google Map on the screen. And the second library is the Location Library, Location Dependency, uh, which is used to track the current location uh, of uh, of your uh, smartphone on Google Map, right? So for now in today's tutorial, we are not going to use this library, but I had imported it. And in our next tutorial, I'll show you how to detect the current location and also how to uh, navigate to another location using Google Maps. So for now, so just include these two libraries into your project and click on sync to your project. Now, uh, once your project has, has been successfully synced, uh, then you are uh, ready to go with this libraries, right? Uh, so just go uh, close your build.gradle file and come back to your XML file. And here we need to create a map view, right? If you uh, you can see you can you got here the map view because of that dependency. Now we got your map view. So map view is the uh, XML part which contains the Google Maps, and we'll configure this Google Map from here our main activity. So let's uh, give it width as match parent, height also as match parent, and uh, let's give it ID as uh, let's give it as map one, right? Map one will be ID of our Google Map, right? Now our Google Map has been included to our XML uh, code. Now it's time to configure this uh, Google Map from this our main activity. But before configuring this uh, Google Map, we need to uh, get the uh, Google Map key from our Google Cloud Console, right? So just go to uh, Chrome and search for Google Cloud Console. And if you see here, we got your Google Cloud Console, just click on the first link and it will open your console of Google Cloud. Now, uh, once uh, you have been navigated to this web page, you need to change your uh, Google, you need to select your Google account. Uh, uh, in which you had you, you you want to create a Google uh, uh, you want to create an Google Console project from where you will get the key right of Google Maps. So I had already created here a project a dummy project here in my Google Cloud account. So what I do is I'll select my project from here and I had already selected and I'll go here from APIs to services in dashboard API and services and then select dashboard. So once I am here, uh, once I am here, I need to enable some APIs to access the Google Maps, right? So here you can see the option we are having enable APIs and services. So just click on that, and you will be here with all uh, from where you can search for the API which you need to show the Google Map, right? So I'll search for Maps, and we are working with Android, right? So we need to enable this uh, Maps SDK for Android. So just go to that and just enable it from here so i have already enabled as you can see so it doesn't show me the enable option but it will display the enable option to you if your api has not been enabled so once your api has been enabled go back uh, you can navigate from here you will go again to our apis and services and uh, from here you need to select the credentials so from credentials from here you will create the api key 
uh, through which uh, you can access the Google Maps from your Android app. So here you need to click on this create credentials and the first one is API key and it will start creating the API key for you and as you can see my API key has been created by clicking on this button I can copy the key and click on close. Now this is the API key which I had created now but previously I had created many other API keys so I can use any one of them and just copy that API key and go to your manifest file. Now here in manifest file we need to include our google maps api key right so what we'll do is uh, here i'm having some metadata with my key so i'll just copy it and i'll paste it below my activity tag now you need to type your tag as a metadata inside that you need to type type a name that uh, what this metadata contains so your metadata contains the android geo api key geo is for geographical area which is actually a google maps right so the name of our key is google maps api key and the value in the value tag you need to call you have, you need to paste the api key which you had copied from this console by clicking on this button right so just paste that key into here now once you have imported this key in this way then your your app will be ready to implement google map into your project so uh, now before that before continuing with our next step <coughs> We need to uh, give the permissions to our Android app because uh, to display the Google Maps, we will uh, access the location, right? We will also need the internet uh, access uh, permission, right? So what we'll do is uh, we'll add some permission into our project. So I had already written here the permissions. I'll just paste them here. So first permission we need is internet. We need to access the internet to access the, to display the Google Map, right? So I had given here the internet. Now we'll access network state. Now we don't need this need external storage. And the, the services, uh, Google Maps services, uh, uh, you can include this. After that, we are having some user features as uh, location.gps and location.network. And these two permissions are most important one that is access course location and access find location. These two uh, permissions will allow you to track your current location on Google map. Uh, but uh, we are not uh, we are going to use them in next uh, in our next Google Maps tutorials, right? So this uh, is the manifest part. Now once you had done with this, let's come back to our main activity and from here we are going to configure our Google Map, right? So let's start configuring our Google Map. So to configure uh, to start with our Google Map, we need to uh, extend our class from the Google Map uh, dependency, right? So if you if you see here, we will extend it from on map ready callback. So uh, our main activity will be extended from two classes. First one is app compact activity, and second one will be um, our map callback. So this one is on map ready callback. So on map uh, ready callback. So this will be a dependency. After that, oh sorry, this will be our library. Uh, now next. It will give you a red mark here, so you just need to go and click on that and press Alt and Enter from your keyboard, and it will show you that implement method. So there are some are some are overridden methods from this uh, class which we need to implement in our class, and it's mandatory to do that. So I click on implement methods, and that is on map ready. Just this method we need to override. Now we got this on map ready method. Uh, we will just put it on above on create. Uh, yeah so now let's go to our document and see now the first uh, let's declare some variables here uh, yeah so we are having three variables so first one is our Google map which we got from this class Google map right if you had not extended this class you will not get this Google map here so if you had extended it we got it from this class so we have created the variable for Google map and second one is map view. The map view is a view that we have created in our XML file, right? So it will be like this map view is equal to find view by id r.id.map1. Yeah, map1 is the id which we given in XML. So it is map view. So now we had initialized our map view. Now and we are having a key for our map view bundle key. So keep it as it is. I'll, I'll explain you why we need this afterwards when we use that. 
so after that we are having and uh, this one on map ready configuration so what we have did is we are having a map view so we have resume our map view here resume means it will start uh, showing that if it has if uh, if everything is all okay uh, when we we'll open this la open this uh, screen or uh, this activity will be act uh, will be active on your mobile phone at that time the first it will call is on ma map ready will be method will be called and at that time uh, it will resume your map view after that uh, uh, after that we are having a um, map as a google map uh, it must uh, let's replace this variable from p0 to google map now this variable has been initialized here from this google map which we got from over region method now we are having app compact act uh, and this manifest now i'll explain you what is happening here let me import all this stuff so in this part of code in if condition we are checking if we have a permission to display the map or not uh, we are checking for two permissions access find location and access course location which we uh, kept here uh, in our manifest file right so we are checking that this both the permissions we are having or not and if they we have that after that if we don't have that we'll return to our uh, on create method and uh, uh, we are showing we are keeping that my location should be enabled true now let's go to our next part and the next part we are having is to use the bundles right so below this let's use the bundle so i have declared here the variable for my map view bundle and i have given it a, a, a save instance state so before calling the on create it will call the save instance state method and here we are passing the key that we had kept above right to verify that we are having uh, the right to uh, display the map on the screen and then we are calling on create method first on save state will be called after that on create method will be called with this bundle now on create method is this one and it will get the, uh, this key this key here right because we are passing the our bundle and bundle contains this bundle key and after that uh, once it comes here it will implement the on ready on map ready and it will resume our google map on our screen right and if we have done all this the last step will be to get my google map sync so the syncing is a process which will refresh our map to display on the screen right now we are having this one as save instance state as i said you before that we will call the save instance state before calling on create so here as you can see this is our save instance state and inside this we are performing the same operation that we are having here we are sending the bundle key if bundle is not equals to null we will assign this value to bundle and we will send that key to on create now we are having one more method that is ask permission now if you see here, here we are checking that if we have that permission or not access find location access course location the thing is uh, if we don't have that if we don't uh, have that permission then what we will do right so in this method we are asking for that permission to the user if we don't have that permission user will uh, the mobile phone will ask to the user to grant this permissions access find location access course location and then the user will if user grants out the permission at that time we can show our google map onto the screen right so uh, let's go to chrome and search for florent uh, ask permission github and we we'll get a library to uh, ask the permission uh, basically we can also do it by the default methods that we are having uh, in our uh, uh, code lane but uh, that's too lengthy and uh, I always prefer this uh, library to ask the permissions right so let's copy it from here this one is code lane code you can see we need a normal code lane this one is the code lane and just go to your build.vrl file and below this paste it here and we need to give it the version our version of this library is 1.1.2 so let's come here and replace this code with 1.1.2 and then sync your project once your project has been successfully synced and uh, uh, after that you can just come to here and click on this red mark and press alt and enter from your 
uh, keyboard and you will see the import option and press enter and it will ask you which uh, import you do you need to use this library so i will select uh, the kotlin.unit because we are working with kotlin just click on that and it will import that library and then do same thing with the alert dialog and uh, once everything is done uh, i think we had done everything uh, let's recheck our code that we had done it correctly or not so first of all it will come to on map ready and here uh, we are resuming our map that's all fine and we are checking if we have a permission or not and if not it will return us right so and if we don't have the permission we need to ask the permission right so we are, we are using the florent library as permission library here and let's call this we are calling this method from on instance state and let's again call it from on create right so the first it will come to our on instance set it will ask for a permission the user will grant that permission and once it is done it will use the map view bundle the map view bundle is a key that we are created at the top and it will send it to on create and once it comes to on create it will verify that key and it will uh, it will use that key to show the display the map onto the screen and once it all has been done we'll sync our google map to refresh it onto the screen so i think now our uh, app is ready to show the google map onto the screen let's run our project and let's see what output it gives to us now our application has been installed into our android app and if you see here the application has been opened and once it has been opened it asks us the permission uh, to assign it the permission right for device location and I, I, I allow it for the permission and if you see here in the car view we are having a google map right so you can see here this is our india we are having here and all our countries so we are having a world map here so uh, this is our google map and i think that's all for today's tutorial in our next tutorial we are going to track our current location and we are going to we are going to navigate to some other address from our current location so hope you like this uh, the full series of google maps and thanks for watching